Hello all, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you two tips on creating a spline path. So suppose the first tip will be on fixing the length of the routing spline and the second tip will be on removing the tangency when we have a tangency between the two uh, routing spline paths. So now you can see here, uh, there is one connector over here and the another connector is over here. Suppose if you want to, you know, connect between these two connectors and uh, the length of this particular spline length should be 500 mm. So in that case, how you are going to do? You are going to go to spline path and you are going to select this point, this port and now I am going to select this port. So when it is created, you can see the spline length, it is showing it as a 428 mm and uh, whatever the minimum radius is 113 so you can just ignore about minimum radius now so this you wanted to make it as a 500 mm so how you are going to do you are going to create a one more point over here and now as soon as i drag this you know outside you can see the length will be going to vary you can see uh, the length is now it is 452 and 475 and 492 and similarly you can just make, make it as a 500 so you cannot make exactly 500 by dragging this handle so it is very difficult to maintain 500.000 so in that case there is a one more method how we can exactly make it as uh, 500 mm so here in the slack mode in the spline shape slack mode you can go to moving points okay you can select a moving point and here there is a fixed length so here you can select a fixed length and whatever the length you want you can just enter it over here so i'm going to enter it as a 500 mm and i'll just hit enter so as soon as i hit enter you can see here the spline length now it is showing it as 500 mm so now i just click ok and the length of the spline will become 500 mm suppose in case in future suppose somebody wants to modify this and if they want to change this particular spline point uh, even though if they try to move it uh, along this direction or any other direction so you can see here the spline length remains same so if, even though if the routing path is changed or whatever the direction they have changed the spline length remains same the 500 mm it remains same as it is until and unless this slack mode is changed to none so you can just click ok uh, even though if the modification is done the, uh, whatever the length is there it is maintained as it is so then now we can go to second tip so the second tip is say for example there is a let me subdivide this segment so i'm going to divide it over this point okay and i'm going to create a one more point from this point to okay somewhere around here so i'll just click okay so now when I create this point, as you can see here, uh, it has been taken a tangency here. So this, this whatever the new routing path I have created, it is tangent to this part and this part of the routing. So in order to remove this, how we can able to remove, you can just double click on this and there will be a point here. So you can just select this point. And for this point, there will be a forward or backward extension. You can see there will be a forward extension. So you can just go to here and you can just hit a zero and you can just click OK. So as soon as you do this, you can see here the whatever the tangency that we have for this particular point on this routing path, it will be removed. So this is how we can remove this part and fix the particular length of the line path guys. Suppose if you have any doubts, please comment in the section below. I will try to answer. Thank you guys.